Hi, my name is Peter and I'm an engineer at Bubble. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your Bubble custom domain on the Cloudflare network. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a root level redirect on GoDaddy uh, that will direct your root domain to a www domain. Uh, this is not a recommended configuration, but for new users, it can be a, a easy way to get around having to try to figure out how to do an alias record. Now, uh, bear with me as I only get one chance to do this, so I may stutter or stumble. In this case, I'm behaving like a new customer. Uh, I am on my DNS management for uh, mywebpage.us on GoDaddy, and I have an A record on the root that is parked. Uh, GoDaddy is hosting this web page. If I were to load up mywebpage.us, I would get a GoDaddy park page. GoDaddy automatically also creates a CNAME record for www pointing at the same place as the root record. I have my Bubble app and I have registered the domain www.mywebpage.us with Bubble. Now it's giving me an instruction to make an alias or a name record on the root pointing to app.bubble.io and a CNAME pointing to uh, www to app.bubble.io. Now, this is the parked page. This is, this is the address of the server that GoDaddy is serving uh, the parked page at. Um, so this is not the correct record. Now, if I go back to this page, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna change the CNAME value here. And I'm gonna point it to app.bubble.io. And like in the previous video, I want to set the time to live value as short as possible because I want this, this uh, domain record to update as fast as possible in case I need to change it. Uh, with initial change of the DNS record, the propagation should be very quick, but subsequent changes can stick very long. So if you set a high TTL value and you need to change this value later on, it can take up to a week, a day, 12 hours, one hour to uh, propagate across the internet. So I'm going to set it for a short time. And I'll hit save. Okay. Now, if I go back here and I hit check my settings, and wait, it's not clear that it's resolved. Let me refresh. Okay, <clears throat> let's continue. Let's see what happens here. So for the A record, now the reason we need to have an A record on the root is because a lot of users will type uh, mywebpage.us expecting to get your site and without having a, an entry resolved here, uh, they won't get the right site. So we're gonna go down here to where it says forwarding and it's not set up. We're gonna set add and we're gonna forward to HTTPS www.mywebpage.us. And that's going to be a permanent redirect. And we're going to forward only. The settings for other registrars are pretty similar. Now we hit save. Okay. Features may be unavailable while you process your updates. Okay. So it's still listing this as parked, but it's got the forwarding record here. So let's see what happens. Okay. It's still got the park page. This is this has come back. It's still got the parked record. Let me check it again. Okay. Now, it says it's set up and ready to go. Now, let's check this on the dig tool. So again, this will be listed in the documentation. Let's look at www.mywebpage.us and let's look for the CNAME record. And you can see that it points at app.bubble.il. On the A record, you can see the same thing. It, the C name points to app.bubble.io, and that in turn resolves to our Cloudflare entry points. Now, let's look at the root record. So the root record of mywebpage.us points to an A record and the 184 block. Now this is a GoDaddy server, and this is handling our redirect. Now, if I open up a preview of the app, again, it's a very simple design. Okay, it says it's not correct because it's found an A record, which is our redirect server. 
Okay, but when we look at it, uh, and let me let me uh, let me pull this out. Sorry, I need to get this in the video window. All right, so you can see here that we're on www.mywebpage.us and we're on HTTPS. Outstanding. Okay, if we type in HTTP, we hit enter. We're automatically upgraded to HTTPS. Okay, we type in HTTP without www and we hit enter. We're redirected to HTTPS www, so that's correct. Now, the next step is where a lot of our users have been having problems. If you have pre-existing bookmarks, if you're a legacy user who's coming from a bare domain to a, a www domain, your user's bookmarks are gonna be HTTPS colon slash slash no www mywebpage.us. And if I hit enter, this connection is not private. Now what's happening here? If I hit show details and I view the certificate, it shows that I've, I'm going to a different website than the one that I'm trying to load. I'm trying, going to shortener.secureserver.net. Now that's the GoDaddy redirect server. So those users who have seen uh, problems with uh, people saying this connection is not secure, this is what's happening. So this is why I do not recommend this for legacy users. Um, if if uh, you change from bare domain to www, you're going to have days of your users complaining that they can't load your site, that it's showing it's not secure. And that's just a bad user experience. In the next videos, I'll be showing you how to uh, set your point your name servers on GoDaddy to a different service that supports a record so you can keep your bare domain without inconveniencing your users. And I'll show you how to transfer your domain to a new registrar.